Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the MNC based interview questions and answers that are frequently asked in multiple companies. So as you all know, the companies have started hiring and they are giving priority to the automation testers. So basically you can get lot many questions and with respect to that, one of the frequently asked question is what is the difference between the scenario and the scenario outline in BDD. So as you all know, BDD related questions are also asked in the interviews and BDD is nothing but it's a behavioral driven development and it's an approach to write the test. Some people do often say that it's a framework, but it's not a framework at all. It's an approach. It's a way how you design your test. So we will be seeing the answer of this question. What is the difference between the scenario and the scenario outline in detail? So before we look into the answer, let me also share with you the details of one of the digital product that has been created for assisting you in the interviews. So there are 130 plus questions covered in this particular product. And if you will see this product, it is available at 55% of discount today. So you can avail this product today. And there are 130 plus questions along with answers. So these particular questions have been asked to many of my subscribers, many of the people in the network from these different companies like Accenture, Infosys, Capgemini, Nalasha Technologies. So such kind of interview questions you can get. And it is not like you can expect the same interview questions, but you would get an idea that the level of the interview or the level of the questions, what kind of questions are being asked and the answers are also provided, right? So you can... Uh, purchase this product you can avail this product so i'll be putting this link in the description as well as in the comment section of the video now let's come back to the answer of the question what is the difference between the scenario and the scenario outline now whenever we say it's a scenario so it is with respect to one single test scenario that you have to execute for example you have to execute login functionality with some username and password then you would be using this kind of approach in which you are specifying one of the username and specifying the password. So over here, if you have to test with multiple sets of data, let's say you have a release and uh, you are supposed to perform the test automation execution for let's say 20 users, 25 users, 50 users, then this approach will not work because you have to specify such kind of things. So what would happen eventually here is let me do one thing. Yeah, let me just move this down. Yeah. So what would happen eventually is you will be copy pasting this particular when keyword. Okay. Multiple times like this. This is for user two. This is for user three. Maybe password is four. And here also you get some password. So what is happening here is you are increasing the lines in the feature file and you are not availing the best resource that is already available in the BDD. So there is an option available in BDD, which is with respect to scenario outline. What does scenario outline assist you with? So scenario outline can assist you with, with the help of parameterization. You can perform such kind of testing. So here you can see, right, this particular approach. That is one of the approach with respect to scenario outline. Okay. And what we will do here is we are specifying this examples and these are your parameters. Username and password are your parameters. You can mention N number of users along with the password. So N number of accounts you can mention here for the test automation purpose. This will not only assist you with the parameterization, but with less lines of code, with, with less number of lines of code, you are able to achieve more. So such kind of best practices can also be achieved. One more interview question that you can get is why people do go for BDD? Why they are going for BDD? What is the use of BDD? So there are pros and cons of BDD. It is not like BDD will work for all the things. But why few of the people take decisions to go for BDD? So let me explain you that thing. So if you see people in the IT company, so there are different teams. So one is your QA team, 
QA team or QA automation team. Then you have a business analyst team, right? Or BAs you have, right? You have subject matter experts, SMEs, right? You also have uh, um, the clients, right? The UAT team, right? So such kind of team members are there. Now, what is the difference between these two teams? If you will see closely, this team is a pure technical team, while these particular members are non-technical. Non-technical in the sense, if you ask them what is simple, public, static, void, main, anything like related to coding thing, they will not be aware about it. But if you ask QA automation team members or SDIT kind of people, those who know automation, right? If you ask them about code related things, then they will be aware about that thing. So the difference between these two teams is that the team towards the left is a technical team, fully tech guys, right? And this team is a non-technical team. Okay, now what happens in the testing is when these particular people have completed the testing. When they have completed the testing, the UAT team has to perform the testing or you can say the subject matter experts have to perform the testing. Now, they might not be able to complete the testing because they have their own work, they have their own assignments or you can take an example of a product-based company as well. There are some stakeholders. They also will be having their own independent tasks that they have to do. So at times they might not be able to perform the entire testing functionally or manually, right? So they would seek the assistance from the automation team. Now, how would they get that assistance? So for example, you have a simple functionality which needs to be tested. For example, login functionality needs to be tested. And as an automation tester, you have created all your keywords, step definition file, Cucumber runner file for this particular functionality, right? So everything has been created from the automation side. And you have the test runner also, those tags are also created, right? And with the help of test runner, you are able to run the login script end to end. So there are certain keywords, for example, you have covered the scenario of a valid username and a valid password. You have covered the scenario of uh, uh, invalid username and invalid password as well. Okay, so these two scenarios, for example, you have covered. Okay. This is your test scenario one, which has been covered. This is your test scenario two, which has been covered. Okay. Now, let's say you did not cover the scenario in which valid username and invalid password was to be considered, right? But this scenario came into the picture when the non-technical team was testing. They found there was a bug in that or they found this scenario has to be included in the automation suit as well. So what will they do? They will have a conversation with the technical team and they'll see if such kind of keywords are already created in the framework or not. If those keywords are not created, they will create that keyword and they will run your framework, the automated test for the login function. It would run, right? Because you have done the coding for first two scenarios. So for this scenario also, it would run. It is just a change in the parameters. So with the help of BDD, in which you can write the test in the Jerkin language, they would be able to understand what needs to be mentioned in the when, what needs to be mentioned in the then part. And as, as of then, they will be able to use this particular framework for their own automation, for their own testing convenience purpose as well. So that is why people use BDD in those particular companies or in those particular organizations or in those particular teams in which the non-technical team would also like to contribute towards the testing angle. So that's how the BDD came into the picture and that is the significance of BDD in the companies, right? So such kind of questions would be asked to you. So I would suggest you avail this particular product since this is available at a very low cost. I would say 50% of 55% of the discount is also available. So you can avail this product today itself and it would really assist you in clearing the interviews, right? So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.